This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar with an effects overview for Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to animate clips using keyframes in Premiere Pro. I'll also show how to add speed changes to keyframes using Ease In and Ease Out. A keyframe is a specific setting for a specific parameter at a specific point in time. At a minimum, we need to create two keyframes for any animation, a place to start and a place to end. And we use keyframes to create animation of objects, effects, or other settings. What I want to do now is to show you how to add, modify, and remove keyframes to animate a clip or an effect. We'll animate a picture in picture, we'll animate a blur, and I'll show you how we can use animation to modify an auto reframe. Let me show you how this works. Here we have our undersea footage and our world famous sea turtle. So what I want to do now is I want to create an effect which has this start full screen, fly back and move over. So when you're creating effects, the first thing that you want to do is let's find where we want it to start. I'll start it there. Go to the effect controls, twirl down motion, and because I'm going to be adjusting both the size and the position of the clip, I'm going to create a keyframe by turning on the stopwatch and turning on the stopwatch. I have an opening position and an opening size. Then I'm going to move to where I want the effect to end, right about there. And because I've already created the first keyframes, any other keyframe would be created automatically. I'll turn on motion and I found it the easiest is that rather than try and grab these dots when the image is filling the frame, I'm going to set this to something smaller because then it's easy to grab the dot and I want to have it be that size and go right there. Then I want to have it pause for just a second. I'm going to create new keyframes where the settings remain the same. And then finally, as the turtle swims off, I want to have this go all the way over to there. And notice it creates a new keyframe. Now it doesn't create a scale keyframe because I haven't changed the size. There's no reason that all these have to have keyframes just whenever they change. So it starts full screen flies back as our turtle turns around, holds on the turtle, the turtle starts to swim off and the shape moves with the turtle until ta-da! Look at that. Is that incredible or what? Not only can we create picture in picture using effect controls, but I can animate it using keyframes. And here's what's even cooler. I want to have the shot Go back here, that's fine, hold for a second, and then very gently start moving to go to the final position. Control click on a keyframe and go down to temporal interpolation. Ease out affects when you leave a keyframe. I want it to slowly leave the keyframe. Then control click on this one temporal interpolation. I want it to slow down as it comes into a keyframe. So ease out is leaving a keyframe. Ease in is coming into a keyframe. And now when I play this back, let's make it bigger so we can see it. It starts full screen, flies back, parks for a second, the turtle turns around, eases out, speeds up in the middle, slows down at the end, and hits the final position as the turtle swims off. Isn't that cool? Keyframes allow us to change settings during playback. And here I was changing position and scale and applying ease in, ease out, slow down and speed up to the object to which keyframes were applied. Well, let's go back down to this auto reframe because keyframes also exist in the auto reframe. And here's where you'll find them. Remember I said that Premiere sets these, but you can change them. See where it says Overwrite Generated Path? What's happening is Premiere has added keyframes, changing the horizontal position of the clip throughout the playback of the clip. 
Now, we changed the frame offset, which is a global change. But if we wanted to, we could change each one of these individual keyframes. And the way we do that is to twirl down, and now we've got these arrows. This moves us to the next keyframe. This moves us to the previous keyframe. And we can see how we are able to make changes to each individual keyframe, because once I park on it, I can then change the value and slide the image left or right or up or down. I could do the same thing with the text. To go between keyframes, let's go back to our keyframe sequence right here. To go between keyframes, this takes you back a keyframe. This takes you forward a keyframe. If a keyframe does not exist, this allows you to set a keyframe. Blue means a keyframe is there at the position of the playhead. And to click a blue keyframe deletes the keyframe at the position of the playhead for the parameter that you click. To get rid of all the keyframes, click this icon. When it's blue, keyframes are enabled. When it's gray, keyframes are not. And it says, do you want to delete all the keyframes for scale? I say yes. And now all of my scale keyframes have been deleted. You want to reset everything back to normal? Click here. Everything is reset back to normal. The picture's not in the center because I only reset scale. If I want to reset everything, click the motion and it's reset. And the reason that it's not full screen is that I used set to frame size to get it to fill the frame. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar with an overview of all the different effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 303. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library can save you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.